Hey guys, it's Tori Lee and welcome back to my channel. So I have another baby video for you guys today. I am going to record a what's in my hospital bag for me and for my baby boy. Um, I am currently 37 weeks, so I will be expecting him anytime now. And I'm actually already two centimeters dilated, which is pretty cool. Um, they say you can walk around for weeks dilated, but the fact that my cervix is already dilated is a big sign that labor is near. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm experiencing some back pain, some Braxton Hicks have been pretty consistent for the last couple of weeks and now I'm experiencing almost period like cramps. So again, all of that in the combination with the fact that I'm two centimeters dilated is why I feel like baby boy will be here pretty soon. Real quick, here is my baby bump. Like I said, I am 37 weeks today and I, well actually yesterday, no wait, two days ago. So I'm 37 weeks in two days and I'm currently up 35 pounds with this one. I know you guys can see it in my face. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of behind on getting this video out. So I'm just going to run through everything really quick. And if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comment box. And also if you have any suggestions, um, if you think I forgot something or there's something that you found helpful during your labor and delivery slash hospital stay um, go ahead and let me know what that is um, I am a second time mommy so this time I'm a little bit more prepared and know what to expect I also already did a tour of the hospital that I'm going to be giving birth at and they gave me a checklist of things to pack so I kind of followed that and they also went over everything that they're gonna provide for me and my baby boy so that saved on some of the stuff that I I um, don't need to pack so let's get right into the video okay so the title is a little bit deceiving because I'm actually have two bags that I'm bringing um, the first one is my son's diaper bag and it looks like this this is a Gucci diaper bag it has a snap on the front here it just kind of like like you can't really snap it right now because I have it stuffed with stuff <laughs> stuffed with stuff stuffed with crap so um, it just kind of snaps down here and then it has these two pockets on the side it also came with a little changing mat that's um, in there and it's got some pockets in the side so I will start off with what I am bringing for me so the first thing I have is this robe it's just a cute royal blue robe and I got it from Target um, my thought behind this is that if we have guests or you know something like that it's just something quick I can use to cover up I am planning on breastfeeding so this will also give me quick access to the breast um, and for skin to skin for holding the baby because I plan on doing that also so this is for more of like the postpartum part like after I've already delivered um, I also have a pair of shorts that I got from Target. It's fall and it's averaging about 55 degrees right now so I don't know if it's going to be hot or cold so I bought um, those shorts and also just some gray sweatpants with a little drawstring. These are also from Target. Um, I've got some slippers here and I've got these nursing tank tops. Now these were heaven sent with my daughter. Um, they basically just look like this tank top that I have on here. But the cool part is, is at the front here they have this little snap. And it just snaps down like that. And baby can get the nipple. Quick and easy. Which is what you need right when you have a baby. Just something simple and to the point. So I have that in black and I also have it in white and these are in a size medium and I got both of these from Target also. Um, in addition to that I got some nursing sports bras so if I don't feel like putting a tank top on and just kind of want to wear something under my robe these will be perfect and still give me that coverage that I need if we have a guest and the easy access for a baby so it's kind of like um, the same as the tank top it just has this little snap here and then it comes down like that. And I got that in black and I also got this really cute gray and black one. So yeah, I will probably use these to train in too once I'm able um, to train. Next, I have another pair 
of pajamas. These are from Victoria's Secret. These are black and um, they're silky. They're super comfortable. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna feel or like what I'm gonna wear, if I'm gonna wanna wear anything. So I just brought a few options a few kind of a lot so those are kind of my um, options that I have there the last thing I got was this nursing gown or this labor and delivery gown it's from baby be mine and it looks like this and then here's the back it's really cute so I'll probably use this before I even get into the postpartum part probably like right after delivery i don't think i'm going to labor in this gown um just because it's going to be probably a bloody mess and i don't really want to ruin it so we'll see but it's accessible if i wanted to so in the back it ha it buttons all the way down just like a hospital bat a hospital gown i don't know if you guys can see those buttons but it'd be quick access for the um labor and delivery staff or the medical staff it also buttons here at the top so i can do skin to skin right away and also i can do nursing um so yeah that's pretty convenient and then it has this little drawstring in the front here so i can tighten it like right over my bump because like granted i'm still gonna have a bump after i have um the baby so this was just something cute that i got online and i thought it would be cute paired with my robe this was like the boyish as boyish as it got it still has flowers but it's still blue so i just went ahead with that um, to kind of finish off with my portion, I have this little clear tote here. I got this from Ulta, and this has all of my toiletries in it. So I basically just went to Target and got, like, the travel size stuff. And I have got Q-tips in there. I've got a toothbrush and toothpaste and floss. I've also got makeup wipes. Not sure if I'm going to wear makeup or have makeup on like when I arrive, so I thought I would just be safe. I've got a deodorant, nursing pads. Now these are <laughs> heaven sent. They're from, I think it's called Lashnell brand. I have a little package here. It looks like this. So I prefer their nursing pads over the medulla ones. Um, and I also have the gel pads. So the gel pads look like this by the same brand and then in addition to that i have their nipple cream so this was heaven sent with my daughter um any of you guys that are have experienced breastfeeding before or are yet to it is not to try to deter you from it because it is the best thing that you can do for your baby and i definitely if you can do it do it I breastfed my daughter for 10 months and it was the most rewarding experience ever and I plan on doing the same maybe even longer with this baby I will say the first couple days in the hospital is pretty rough my nipples were so chapped literally think of like being out in the blistering cold and your lips getting chapped peeling bleeding everything that was my nipples like the first three days in the hospital um, they were very tender very uncomfortable and this lotion saved my life um, I'm actually gonna start applying this I should have been applying it just to kind of like moisturize my nipples and kind of get them ready to go so that hopefully I don't experience that pain but I'm ready for it <laughs> just in case um, I also have some Vaseline here I'm running out of space to put stuff um i've got some face wash Cetaphil. this isn't usually what i use but it's good for it's um it works on my skin so i'm not gonna like pack my whole skincare regimen because i'm just gonna be there for three days so i just need something to maintain or get me through um i've got hand sanitizer for me and dad and for if we decide to have visitors up there i've got mouthwash lotion this is jorgens i've got some baby wipes more nursing pads like a lot of nursing pads chapstick i don't know why but this is definitely something that you're gonna need during labor and delivery your lips get so chapped like i have no reason i have no idea why but this is definitely a necessity um and then i have some natural oatmeal soap so this is what i've been using this is from the healthy food store in my hometown this it's got like little specks of oatmeal in it this is what i've been using my entire pregnancy for some reason my skin decides to freak out every time i'm pregnant um so this is kind of 
what I've resorted to, the um, oatmeal makes my skin feel super soft and moisturized and then it's scent free and it's natural so it doesn't have anything in it that's going to make my skin freak out even more than the allergy is. So I plan on using that in the hospital. So that kind of makes up my toiletry bag. In addition to that I have some smaller items like my phone charger, camera charger, that type of thing. And then I also have my um, my folder, I went ahead and got pre-registered at the hospital that I'm delivering at, which is heaven sent, because Lord knows when you're in the process of having a baby or after you welcome your new one into the world, the last thing you want to do is sign a million papers. So I went ahead and got all of that done. All of it's packed in here, ready to go. So whenever it's go time, I can just be like here and it's all taken care of. Um, and it also has my birth plan inside here. So that will be good. Um, I guess the only, before I get into baby boy stuff, the reason why I have two bags instead of one is because within my labor and delivery plan, I want to do natural, meaning um, a vaginal birth and no medication. And I also want it to be active. So I want to be upright, moving around. Um, I have requested no like plug-in monitors. The monitors that they're gonna have on me are the um, ones that they're mobile so I can move around. Um, I have requested a tub in the room so that I can do a little bit of laboring in the bathtub if that's comfortable. I'm going to have a birth ball, kind of everything that I need so that I can be as comfortable as possible throughout this process. Um, in addition to that, I have a little heating pad that I got on Amazon. It is from, it's the Marner Home Comfort. It looks like that. This is the case and then it's just, it's blue and gray. I'm not going to pull it out. But I'm using the heating pad just because I have been experiencing some back pain throughout this um, pregnancy and I'm guessing I'm going to have some back labor. So just something to um, kind of help ease the pain is my um what I was thinking when I got this in addition to that I had this little kneeling foam pad thing so um Juan and I have been practicing like the different partner positions and I have actually been doing the different exercises and doing the different positions on my own so one of them is like in a kneeling squat type of thing um and this is just for if I do decide to kneel um during the birth process the laboring thing whatever this is just something comfortable for my knee so that I can get down on all fours or whatever just an extra um, form of comfort for me and then this one is more for postpartum but I ended up getting a postpartum belly wrap and this is from Target it was about 50 bucks I want to say my physical therapist recommended me using this just for like the next two to three days after I have the baby, but no longer than that. This is, she just said to use this if I just feel really unstable. Um, we've been doing a lot of things for diathesis recti, preventative stuff, and um, she showed me some stuff to do after baby so that I can heal the diathesis that I currently have and you know after you have a baby well maybe you don't know if you've had a baby before after you have the baby everything just feels like jello it's really gross and flabby and I with my first daughter with my first child had no stability at all like so my hope with this is just to kind of help get me moving and just kind of give me some comfort and give me like an extra brace um in my abdomen area so that kind of just um makes up everything that I have for me. So now we can get into baby. He's a lot more simpler, <laughs> um, less high maintenance. So I got a his blankie. This is what he's gonna come home in. It has a little monkey on here. It's so soft. Yeah, I know you guys can just see how soft this blanket is. So this is the blanket that we're sending him home in. I have a little sleeper here and it has, I thought it had a matching hat, maybe not. Well, I don't know. So this is a little sleeper. These things are great because if you can see at the bottom, it's open here. Um, I love these things and Brielle was in these until she was like three months old because it's just really inconvenient trying to change diapers, do all that, and have to unbutton each little side of the leg with this. You can literally just roll it up 
change the diaper, roll it back down. Like they're not walking, they're not crawling, they're not doing anything. So it's not like they need that separation for their legs, if that makes sense. So I have one of these for while we're in the hospital. I actually have two. I have this one and I have, oh, this gray one has a hat. So that one must have a hat. It probably just fell off. And I have this gray and white one. Really cute, simple little sleepers. I also have this gray swaddle blanket. I don't know if he's gonna wanna be swaddled. Brielle did not wanna be swaddled, but I want to try. Um, the reasoning behind swaddling is just to kind of mimic the environment that they came from. So it's just a blanket and at the top it has these Velcro, Velcro straps here. You put baby boy's legs in that part and then his head's up where mine is and then you cross their arms and then just kind of boop. Boop. and they're just like in this little cozy position which is similar to the position that they were in when they were in utero so I'm gonna bring this see if he likes it see if it's comforting if not then we'll never use it again but if so it might be a lifesaver so I definitely wanted to add that and then lastly I have his little going home outfit it's this little two-tone Nike onesie and hopefully he's not huge because this is a newborn size so if I have like an eight nine ten pound baby he most likely is not gonna fit that but I'm gonna probably bring a backup for him just in case that doesn't work and then with that I've got this cute little Nike hat and these little Nike socks and then we have a a big North Face fuzzy thing I don't even know where it's at. I think it's in my car because um, it is cold outside. So he's going to be all bundled up. So we'll have this outfit on, the North Face, and then the blanket. And then I think he'll be good to go. I also have like another hat and a pair of socks and like little mittens for his hands so that he's not scratching at himself. But other than that, that's all I have for him because the hospital is going to provide diapers, wipes, um, like the kind of care early care stuff and your nail clippers all of that type of stuff they're gonna do all of that and I don't want to be overwhelmed with a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need so that's why I don't have too much for him also for me I didn't pack like any pads vaginal sprays anything like that I didn't even pack underwear because they're gonna have all of that for me at the hospital um, the only thing that I've kind of been contemplating on getting or bringing with me is my breast pump so I've been watching a lot of these similar videos on YouTube and a lot of moms are packing their breast pumps with Brielle I didn't need my breast pump because I wasn't making enough milk for me to like really even keep up with her initially so I couldn't even imagine like the breast pump would have just been in the way but I'm thinking since I've already breast fed before and I've been producing colostrum which is like the the clear stuff that comes from your nipples like before your milk comes in for a couple months now um, I'm thinking that my milk might come in a little faster this time so I might need my pump so I think I'm just gonna throw that in my car just in case um, but other than that this is pretty much what makes up my hospital bag and my son's hospital bag so yeah like I said if you guys have any questions make sure to leave them um, below and if you also if you bleh, if you also have any recommendations be sure to um, leave those in the comments as well and wish me luck because hopefully next time you guys see me I'll have my little baby in my hands <laughs> if not then that means I'm still pregnant and I just came up with another video um, to post on here I do want to get my baby gear video out there I think you guys will enjoy that so I'm gonna try to work on that within the next two days um, given that I don't have <laughs> that I don't go into labor so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling like I said I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys next time bye